All right, so now that you're enrolled in the course, uh, one of the first things that I would do is uh, go to your textbook. Uh, to get to your textbook, if you haven't already, log into Canvas, scroll down to the bottom where you can see uh, a tab on the left called Bookshelf. Click on Bookshelf. All right, and it's going to bring up this page. If this is the first time that you have accessed this page, there will be a link at the top for you to register. Register your vital source account. That means you just want to provide your information through them, and you only have to do that once. Once you do that, the book should show up. If you click on the book, there should be a user agreement that comes up. Agree to it if you want the textbook, if you want to look at the book, um, which everyone does, and that brings up the textbook. Then you can uh, search for terms, you can go to chapters. Uh, go to different sections and chapters. You can, uh, you know, this is where you're going to read your sections. You need to read each section before you do the homework. And so you just go through and read the sections. Um, you can also print out some of the pages. You can only print out two pages at a time, but you could print out a section if you needed it if you were going to be away from the computer. This is one way that you can access your textbook. Uh, once you've accessed it through here, then you can go online and search for Vital Source. So, I search for Vital Source Bookshelf. All right. Then you see there are a lot of different links here. Here's Vital Source Bookshelf. Um, you can go here and download Vital Source Bookshelf. This is what you'd want to do if you want to install it on your computer where you can access the book when you're not on the internet. You download the latest version. Um, you can download for Windows. You can download for um, your smartphone here. You can download for a Mac, the Macintosh here. Uh, once you've downloaded and installed the program, then you want to launch the program. And if you've already set up your Vital Source account, then you're going to have a list of your textbooks. And uh, they won't be downloaded automatically. There'll be a little uh, yellow triangle like I have on this textbook here. And you just want to click on the textbook and at the bottom it says you have not installed this book do you want to download it now yes you download and it'll download your textbook once you do that then you can just open the program double click on your book and it will open up your textbook you can search you can make notes you can do all kinds of stuff uh, in your ebook I highly suggest that you use it as much as possible